Three provincial fish hatcheries are about to receive some very good news. Let's go outdoors and I'll tell you more. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Well, this is like old days when I used to cover the Alberta legislature and chasing politicians around. I'm back at it again. This time I'm down at the uh, brood hatchery on the Raven River and uh, following the Minister of Environment and Parks, Jason Nixon. He's about to announce uh, that uh, $43 million is going to be spent on three different hatcheries to upgrade them and to, um, I would imagine, increase productivity in putting more fish into more uh, lakes and ponds so that uh, Alberta anglers have uh, more opportunities to get out and enjoy this pastime. Today I'm proud to announce the replacement of the Raven Creek Brood Trout Station and significant upgrades to both the Sam Livingston Fish Hatchery in Calgary and the Allison Creek Brood, Tra Brood Trout Station in the Crow's Nest Pass. Great news. Uh, what else can you say? We've been, <clears throat> we've passed many resolutions over the a number of years calling for in, enhancing stocking and enhancing our fisheries. So very positive news from the fishery standpoint, I think. And I think, again, it's no secret that um, for many, many years, it's been kind of a, a, a tough luck story for the environment for many reasons. And so to, to see an announcement like this of a significant cash investment into the, some of the core infrastructure uh, for helping sustain recreational fisheries in Alberta, uh, I think it's wonderful news. While stocking is a good step to providing more opportunities, ensuring there is a healthy fish habitat for native fish species is also on the government's radar. You know, we ran uh, in this last election the United Conservative Government on a commitment to invest a million dollars in cows and fishes, for example, which is, uh, and I should back up, that commitment was for cows and fishes to spend that million dollars in the eastern slope specifically, which of course have significant habitat issues we have to deal with, including species at risk issues. So those, that's an example of the type of investment that we're doing elsewhere. So fish hatcheries are only one portion of it. We're going to continue to move forward on habitat restoration. If we work together as a team, I think we're going to have one of the greatest fisheries in the country. $26 million is the budgeted amount for the Raven Creek Brood Station, which will be completely rebuilt. It blows me away, to be honest. Um, it's, uh, it's hard to believe. Um, I'm, it makes me emotional. I'm not, I'm not, sure, uh, I'm not sure I believe it yet. <laughs> um, but it's, it's good news. Uh, it, I guess it reminds me that, that the... The historical significance that was started here, the groundwork that was laid, um, all of that still matters. And uh, the, the legwork and the research that I did to, to, to bring that to light and to get people passionate about it, it, it made a difference. And uh, so it's, it's, going to, it's going to come to fruition and it's awesome. Well, there's no question it has been, well, decades, I think, since we've seen this kind of investment in uh, fish and wildlife. And let's hope it pays off by seeing more anglers out in rivers, streams and lakes in the coming year. And, and, and I guess having the opportunity to experience uh, the catching of fish and bringing it on shore and, and having that traditional shore lunch. Uh, that's really, at the end of the day, it's, it's about forming and having those types of experiences. All right, well, that wraps it up from the uh, Raven Trout Hatchery, and we will catch you on the next video. Take care, everyone. We'll talk to you soon.